Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create a device, a slate device, to be easily reused on the IO scanner serial that we have on the M172. Okay, so let's go to the software. So, so far we have already seen the difference between the function blocks and the IO scanner and how we can add the channels using the function blocks uh, in the IO scanner. Now, imagine that I have multiples of this M21 that we have already seen in the previous video, and I need to reuse and add another one, and then another one, and another one. Then we need to create one add paste, and it can be uh, tedious. Or we can use copy and paste, and then that's it, basically. It works fine. But it's going to be great if you already have it as a template. Okay, so we can reuse that device and use it in another project in case we need to. So I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to remove this one too. So what I'm going to do is to run these Modbus custom editor here we just need to use the name of the device i'm going to use it's going to be my m221 or it could be my blah 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 something that you're going to read to description uh modicon m221 here you just need to select if you're going to use model tcp or mobile rtu or both my case, I'm going to use Modbus RTU. So, serial. Here, we just need to define the maximum information I can read and write. Allow, same register with the same address. If you want to swap or not, and if it's Modbus. And here, we just need to add the, func the Modbus function that we want. So, here, all the models functions, okay, probably in a short view, you just need to know what is it. So I'm going to use, for example, these two, two holding register 16 bit. So true or false, I'm going to use read only false. Okay, label is going to be um, MW50. Here, MW60. Here you can define the type based on the information that you have. Okay. one. Here you just need to specify all the different things. Read only, true true and then this change the register that you're going to use okay w62 and w53 and w54 and w60 NW61, NW62, NW63, NW64. Okay, so we have all the registers. So here we can add information. So it's going to be M221, I don't know, velocity, whatever you want, NW50, percentage, NW50, and then this one, 60. And then you can complete the rest. Now that you have this, okay, I was hoping to have the definition for the definition, but okay, just need to save. This will save on your Modbus custom folder when this one is installed. So you can put this as a my PLC, serial one, okay, save. Now that you save it, 
you can reuse it over here. It should be up here. Okay, so here, drag and drop it. Okay, and you have input, output. So you have already defined that. In my case, I'm using NW50, 60, and doesn't mean anything. But in your case, you can probably read, for example, temperature, humidity, velocity, or whatever you want. So you will have a fancy name rather than mine. So here, just need to add the register, the parameters that it's going to read and write. So this one, input coming from the other side, is going to be input. And then the system will know that it's going to be one specific register they need to do. So add the one, add this one, add this one, add uh, I think it's missing something. Okay. Modus address is going to be 10 and device this one. Input. Something that I didn't show is the address. So here, just put the name and not the address. Here, you need to specify the address. That I'm going to point to. In this case, we know that if I put 50, I'm going to read and write or read and write the 49. So I need to add one. So here, plus one, 52, 53, 54, 55. This is going to be 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. Okay, and this is just the label, the name, but it can be something else. For example, NW temp, and this one is going to be um, velocity. This one is going to be the status, state, or whatever you want. Okay, then save. Okay, save. And also I show you how to edit something if we forgot. So now here, input, you can see they have fancy name now. Uh, add 54 and then the output 60 61 62 63 and 64 okay so in this way it's much easier for you to understand okay i want i have this device with this all configuration with all the variables that i want but I'm just going to use a few of them, which is fine. Okay, I have more versatility than in the other one. No, I just need to define the function called add, add, add. Hit this one, you have everything, and then you just select what you want to read and write from the device. So now that you have already defined the device that you're going to use, it's time to link with the variables. And the variables is the same as we have done before. Okay, we just need to create the variables on the status. And then here, we just link that to the controller. Assign. This one, the one for the PLC, and it'll be 50. 51. 52. 53. 54. The same for the output. In this case, the system now with function needs to use base if you put in input and output he knows the system is intelligent enough to know that which is good i almost forgot how to do all this okay but once it's done it's much easier because you can complete all the information that you want and then just assign the things okay and for the other person it's going to be the same and i'll also show you how to change that Easy developer, run model bus, and here select open the device that you want and start again. Okay. So now that I have already done this, save, well, compile. Now we just need to connect. Yes. And as I've done a modification on the hardware part, what we need to do is to make a full download. Okay. So we have already 
double check this information from the previous videos i already doing the same thing okay uh you can check how i have done this before but this is just to show you how it works with this one so now i have done this modification we must use download all so i connected different code doesn't matter just download old yes 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 just wait for it to finish yes so it's going to be rebooted Let's just take uh, I believe no more than 40 seconds Do -do 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 -dun 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 -dun. There we go. So connect. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if we go back to the programming side, okay. Here you see that I read information writing to something. Okay. So if I open this once again, the M221. Here you can see that I'm reading the information. Let me just delete all this. And we stay with the information that we want. Okay, so you can see here that I'm reading directly with that because it's assigned internally on the AIO scanner part. So if I use one, two, three, or five nice and if i want to do the same here i just need to write over here so it's going to be uh, 11 tut -tut. Tut -tut. Tut -tut. Pum -pum. and if i open the m to the one you can see that i read and writing everything and everything is working fine okay so this give you more versatility in terms of how you can easily reuse the device in other projects and also how you can remap more things without adding additional modulus function remember it now just do it one one time you know that is a register then you just need to link it to an internal variable in the project okay that's the idea of all this and of course the uh for the troubleshooting we have this node that we have already configured here on the device okay no number that it need to be used over here in order to know that is missing or not i have already made the explanation in the previous video so if i remove the cable now you should be able to see it is missed okay and if i put it back again you can say that is no alarm okay so this is it how you can use the modbus custom editor in order to add your template device and then reuse it in a different way in the same project or in other ones okay so this is it for the modbus custom editor how to create your template on modbus serial the same can be applied for most but you just need to select most so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one